What's going on everyone, it's Griffin here and in today's video I'm going to be explaining what a TFSA account is or silly account for Quebecers and why it is just so important for you to open up an account as soon as possible if you haven't already so that you can start contributing and growing your money as of today. Now I highly recommend that you watch this video in its entirety because I'm really going to be hitting some points here as to why the TFSA account is so powerful in combination with compounding interest and not doing so could potentially result in hundreds of thousands of dollars lost in terms of capital gains over the coming decades that would have been tax free. So we're going to be covering the contribution limit increase for 2019 as well as what the contribution limits have been since the inception of the TFSA account. Then we're going to be talking about what your total contribution room could be as of 2019 if you were to never contribute to your TFSA account from its inception in 2009. Then we're gonna be looking at the real benefits here of what the TFSA has to offer. And finally, I'm gonna be looking over a couple different strategies that you might wanna utilize inside your TFSA account to grow your money over time. And I do realize that today's video is very Canadian specific in terms of the actual TFSA account or SELI account. That said, it does have a ton of similarities with the Roth IRA account in terms of contribution limit and tax-free gains over time. There are, however, a couple differences in terms of when you can take out your money, but nonetheless, it's still a really good video if you're an American or uh, an international viewer. All right, so the concept of a TFSA account is just awesome and absolutely everyone needs to take advantage of it, especially if you are in the under 30 bracket. And the reason why I say this is because if you're under 30, you're gonna be able to utilize compounding interest to its fullest over the coming years while you're doing your investments and while you're growing your money. So if you're in your 20s and there's one thing that I want you to retain from this video, it's that you need to open up a TFSA account as soon as possible and start contributing to it so that you can grow your money. Coming into effect back in 2009, the whole goal and premise of the TFSA account was to allow Canadians to contribute to this account up to a certain contribution limit per year, have their money grow over time with the certain investment vehicles that they've chosen, and then allow them to take out money anytime they please on a tax-free basis. So any capital gains that you get with the money in the account is gonna be tax-free whether or not you take it out today, tomorrow, in 10 years, 20, or 30 years. <laughs> Now it's important to know, however, that the reason why your capital gains will not be taxed later on when you take money out of the account is because your contributions that you're making on a yearly basis now are with post-tax dollars, meaning that you're paying your taxes right now in exchange for no taxes later on. So let me give you a visual example of what the heck I'm talking about. So if I make $40,000 this year and I'm a resident of Ontario, that's gonna place me in the first tax bracket for provincial and federal taxation. So I'm gonna be paying about $5,720 in tax at the end of the year, meaning that I'm gonna have left over a net revenue of about $34,270. So if I make any contributions to my TFSA account, I'm gonna be making them with this 30 some thousand left over rather than the 40,000 which means that it's post-tax dollars. Now in contrast to the TFSA account, an RRSP account is pre-tax dollars, meaning that any contributions I make to it, I can deduct from my total revenue, meaning I'm gonna be paying less taxation at the end of the year. However, I personally believe that if you're someone who's relatively young watching this video, either in your 20s or 30s, max out your TFSA account before touching your RRSP contributions because you're probably gonna be making a lot less money right now, you in a lower tax bracket than later on when you're say 40 or 50 and you're making let's say $250,000 a year you're gonna be paying a lot more tax later on so if you were to contribute all this time to an RRSP account you're gonna be paying less tax now on a smaller capital versus later on when for example you take out $200,000 from your TFSA account you're gonna to have to combine that to your $200,000 income meaning you're gonna be paying tax on say $400,000 all right, it's now time to look at some different contribution limits throughout the years since its inception in 2009. And keep in mind here that the contribution room for the TFSA account is cumulative, meaning that every single year past the year in which you turned 18, 
the contribution limit is going to be added year after year for a total amount. So from 2009 to 2012, the contribution limit was $5,000 for a total cumulative contribution limit of $20,000. From 2013 to 2014, the annual limit was increased to $5,500. And then in 2015, the Harper government decided to make the contribution limit $10,000. Now in the three following years, the Liberal government decided to reduce the contribution limit back down to $5,500 dollars a year for a cumulative total of $57,500 if you would have been 18 as of 2009 when the account was born. Now in my particular case, I turned 18 in 2014, meaning that I would have a cumulative total of $32,000 to contribute to as of today. Now the whole reason really why I'm making today's video is to talk about the annual increase of $500 for 2019, going from $5,500 to $6,000 in contribution room, which is just awesome. I mean, yeah, I wish it was 10 grand like back in 2015, but a $500 increase is still better than nothing. And $500 might not seem like that big of a difference, but take a look at this example. So say in 2019, I utilized my entire contribution limit for a total of $38,000 versus if I did the same thing, but it was a $5,500 increase for a total of $37,500. Well, after 30 years of compounding at a 7% interest rate, year after year on average, this would equate to a difference of $3,800 more with that $500 limit increase if I didn't make any other contributions year after year. Now, obviously this is an estimate and markets change over time, but on average, historically, if you put your money into an ETF, for example, that tracks the S&P 500, you're more than likely gonna be getting a 7% on average interest rate year after year. So this really shows the power of compounding interest. Your $500 difference was multiplied more than seven times after 30 years. So I really hope that you guys um, see the opportunity here and that you go out and open a TFSA account and contribute to it as soon as the account open. So by now you're definitely thinking, hey, the TFSA account sounds awesome. I want to utilize it, but what are some of the different investment vehicles that I can use inside the account? Well, basically everything that is and was RRSP investable is also utilized in the TFSA account. Anything from publicly traded stocks to bonds, ETFs, commodities, private company stocks, and the list goes on. All of these are going to be utilized inside the TFSA account so that you can do your investments however you want to do them. And whatever growth you experience within the account is going to be tax free at any moment when you decide to take funds out of the account and your contribution limit will always stay the same no matter the contributions you've made or not made throughout the years. For simplicity's sake here, if you just turned 18 in 2018, you're going to have a total contribution limit of $5,500. If you contribute $2,000 to the account this year and then take that $2,000 out, then you only have a max contribution limit left of $3,500 for this year. Now, as of January 1st, 2019, you're gonna have that $6,000 contribution limit added to your entire contribution limit for a total now of $11,500 but you're also gonna have access to that $2,000 from the year before. So it's important to really notice that if you put money in and take it out, that contribution limit is lost for that year, but in the next year, you regain it. And once again, I'm really making this video not only to talk about the benefits of the TFSA account, but I really wanna motivate you guys who are watching to go out, invest your money, and really have your money grow over time and work for you. Now, if you haven't ever contributed to your TFSA account or you're just new to investing and these limits might seem like a lot to you, $6,000 per year, I totally understand. And what I would suggest here is don't necessarily think about your entire contribution room, but start looking just at your 2019 contribution room of $6,000 and then break it down on a month by month basis. So divided by 12 months, that's gonna be $500 a month that you can contribute to your account in 2019. And if you're really serious about investing and contributing to a TFSA account, $500 per month should be something realistic that you're able to do. And if $500 is too much for you right now, then it's really no big deal. What I would suggest is just start contributing as much as you can month after month so that you're able to get yourself into a saving and investing mindset so that this really becomes a habit of yours month after month, you're putting money aside into your future. And then once you're more comfortable with investing and you're in a better position to contribute more to your account, you're gonna be able to catch up on all that contribution room that was cumulative year after year. Okay, so now that you're convinced to open your TFSA account, let's talk about two different strategies 
for investing within the account. So the first strategy that I would recommend is investing in low cost ETFs that track certain indexes such as the S&P 500 or the NASDAQ 100, indexes such as these that year after year has shown some constant gains at a relatively low interest rate but that have allowed investors to benefit to the fullest of compounding interest year after year. So you could either pick and choose your own ETFs or you could do something like using a robo investment platform such as Wealthsimple. I've actually made a video recently reviewing well simple talking about its benefits how it works and what different types of accounts they can open so if that's something that interests you investing on autopilot basically there's a link down in the description so you can open your own well simple account now the second strategy that's been really popular in Canada with the TFSA account is picking and choosing your own growth stocks in order to try and beat the market and get some crazy gains within your TFSA account that are gonna be tax-free once again once you take that money out so in Canada over the past five years marijuana stocks have actually been crazy hot and really exponential in terms of value I've actually read a ton of articles about people who've maxed out their TFSAs with marijuana stocks and have grown their portfolio exponentially to over six figures or multiple six figures by utilizing the tax-free advantage of the TFSA account so how awesome is that that you're able to grow it and have no taxes to pay on your capital gains it's insane all right so let's just look at a really fun example here in my opinion so obviously this would be uh, really speculative if someone were to have done this investment and um, they would have actually kind of had to been psychic but nonetheless it shows the power of um, the TFSA account and capital gains being non-taxed so um, if, for example, you had a contribution limit of $46,500 back in May 20th, 2016, because you didn't ever contribute to your TFSA account, and you put 100% of that amount into Canopy Growth Corporation, which was trading at $2.59 that day, um, and you didn't touch that money until September 7th, 2018 here, um, when the stock had its all-time high of $67.74, your TFSA account would have a value of $1,216,181 that you could withdraw and pay zero tax on. All right, so that's it for today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you got some value out of it. If anything, I want you to go and open your own TFSA account so that you can grow your money tax-free over the coming years. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more. I talk about anything that has to do with business, finance, or anything basically that interests me in the business world. I talk also a lot about cryptocurrencies and uh, Amazon FBA. And also hit the bell button so that you're notified every time I release a brand new video. So I'll see you in the next video.